We're also following breaking news right now from here in Portland. This after a hostage situation on a MAX train comes to an end. Jenny Young live outside Cascade Station with more on exactly what happened. You learned a lot more information in this last half hour, Jenny. We did, Jeff. We learned that suspect's name. He is 41-year-old Marcus Tate. And listen to this. Officers, Portland police officers, had a run-in with him yesterday on a call when they were called out. They say he got uh, got physical with officers, and officers believed that he was a threat to the community or himself, so they put him on what's called a police hold, and he was held at the hospital overnight. Uh, then he was out here at this train station. In this situation, officers responding recognized him in this hostage situation. So this call came in shortly after two this afternoon. They Officers heard that a man had a Max driver and another person hostage on the train. That suspect we now know is Tate was believed to be armed with two knives. However, police later found out one was a knife and the other was a metal skewer. PPB says there were several attempts to try and resolve the situation by talking to Tate. However, when that didn't work, they called in the special emergency response team and their crisis negoci negotiation team. And we're told at one point that suspect put those weapons down. PPB used that as an opportunity to distract him. They fired two flashbangs. That's when they were able to get on that train and get Tate off and get the two hostages out safely. Uh, we spoke with Commander Tina Jones with Portland Police. She says she is thankful for the good police work out here. These are the nightmare calls that we never want to have, but that we train for. And I'm very, very proud of my team. Um, obviously, all of the teams that came out today, Multnomah County, and our CERT and CNT teams as well. So, no one physically injured, but um, Jones said this was obviously terrifying for the two hostages involved. Tate will be booked into Multnomah County Jail on several charges. Those include robbery, unlawful use of a weapon, harassment, and interfering with public transportation. We're working to learn more about his background. Um, and we know that when officers arrived, uh, well, actually what I'm trying to find out is when officers arrived, how many people were on the MAX train? That is something that Jones didn't have, uh, she didn't have that information, but we are working to find out if any, who else uh, might've seen this. Reporting live tonight, Jenny Young, Coin6 News. Jenny, thank you.